Hey everyone, welcome back to the homestead and welcome back to the garden. Tonight, we're just out here giving you a garden update and showing you what we're planting. Now, we are extremely late this year planting our uh, vegetables, actually all of them, because we were overseas for an entire month. If you want to go see those videos from our family trip, you're more than welcome to. I'll leave a link in the comment section below or in the description below. But tonight, we're just going to show you what we've done to the garden to rehab it for this year, how things are doing, and what we're doing right now. So stay with us and see what's happening. So you might notice a couple of things different this year. Two of those things are the addition of some leaf mulch here on the top of our beds. And that is simply because we have an abundance of leaves. They break down and make great soil. They work fantastic as a mulch and we couldn't afford wood chips. Wood chips in this part of Texas are expensive and you cannot really find them for free simply because we have a lot of paper mills. All scrap usually goes to straight to the paper mills. So there aren't very many wood chips and when you do find them at a landscape company, they're extremely expensive. So that is the reason for the leaves. We also have this professional grade, heavy duty uh, weed fabric here in our aisles. And we had the wood chips in our aisles break down and the straw that we had in our aisles break down and also the old plastic that we had in our aisles break down. So this is a 20 year, five ounce professional grade landscape weed barrier. And that we hope is going to work well at keeping the weeds out of this garden in these aisles. So we have nine beds here in our garden that are between tw 22 and 25 feet long and four feet wide. We also have two areas that are tilled probably it's 10 feet wide by 55 feet long give or take. And we also have our perennial areas with our asparagus as you can see in the background behind me and then our raspberries. We also have our beginnings of our hedgerow down the center here. Well, I've only been able to rehab five out of the nine beds and plant some in those because we're so far behind. Well, although in the tilled area, we've got in all of our onions and all of our potatoes. So we're very fortunate to have that done so far. And I'm gonna continue to work here night after night to get these in the ground and get them going. So hopefully they'll produce for us before this Texas hot sun gets way too hot. Take a look at this area down here. Looks terrible. I have not even had time to weed it, but we're blessed. Our Swiss chard is still rocking and rolling after two years. No dying off during the summer heat and no dying off during that winter cold. Also our raspberries looking solid this year, although they do need to be need to be mulched and weeded underneath. But this area, I just haven't gotten to. We're very excited that all of our perennials that we've planted are, have taken hold and they're actually getting a little out of control. This oregano behind me has way outgrown the area that I really wanted it to be in. So I do need to pull that back. As is the marjoram down the way. This salvia, absolutely love it. It's attracting so many bees this year already and it's simply the beginning of April. So love these plants, recommend that you have them in your garden because they will come back, obviously, they're perennials year after year and they benefit your garden greatly. And last but not least, this whole area behind me is still covered in that black plastic because we just haven't had time to build those extra beds. And right now, that's just not a priority. We're getting a good amount of food out of what we have so far. So expanding the garden at this point I think we'll be able to wait. Thanks for joining us everyone on this quick garden update. We appreciate you being here. Don't forget to like and subscribe and also go check us out on countrylivingexperience.com. Check out our tool store. We'd appreciate it. Thank you very much. We'll see you on the next video. Have a great day.